a blogger over at Julie Measures. And today I'm gonna to show you a whole bunch of crafts that you can do um, using bandanas. Um, they're nice and handy in red, white, and blue. Um, here in the USA, we've got the 4th of July coming up next week. And red, white, and blue are just really fun all summer long for crafting. So we're gonna do, um, one of them I'll warn you is a sewing project, but most of them aren't. Um, you're just gonna need some bandanas and then we're just gonna walk through several different crafts to get your house and everything ready to host a summer party. So the first thing that people see when they come to your door is your wreath, right? So we're gonna make a bandana patriotic wreath. And to do this, I'm using bandanas and I'm using about 12 of them. And then I'm using a wire wreath form. And this is a large size, um, just if you're at your store, I can't remember the exact measurements, but it was the large. And it's got four sets of wires, and it's also divided into four kind of quadrants. Um, so that really helps me kind of plot out my patriotic wreath. So I'm using, my bandanas are um, about 20 by 20 inches. And then I've got a cutting mat, and then I've just got a rotary cutter. And to make this, wreath that we're going to start off with. Um, it's just a tie wreath. It's a no sew wreath. And so I'm going to start by cutting my wreath or my bandana into strips. So I said this is a 20 inch um, bandana. So I'm going to cut it into, I'm going to cut two inch strips. So I'm going to get about 10 of them per bandana. And I can just use my rotary cutter to slice through the bandana and get those two inch wide strips and then it worked out really nicely kind of with all the math the way I did this so go through and cut um, all your strips one two three four five six seven eight nine these aren't exactly 20 inches so this last strip is a little bit off but so then you've got all your strips then you can grab here's some red ones I already cut and here's a wreath I kind of already started so for my wreath um three of my sections I made the red and white stripes for the flag so I did chunks so here's a white chunk and then a red one. So I looped my strips around two wires at a time. So I did two and I did five of these across. So I said each bandana cuts 20 strips or cuts 10 strips. So I did groups of five on top and five on bottom at a time. So there's two. Um, if you're just tuning in, we are doing a whole bunch of bandana crafts today. If you've ever watched a live DIY here at um, Home Talk before, you always know you know that we always do a giveaway. So today's giveaway question is: What have you DIY'd using a clothing item? So tell us in the comments for your chance to win a Home Talk tote bag. I love upcycling um, different clothing items. I've turned t-shirts into macrame plant holders, um, all sorts of things. So there's five on the these two wires. Then I'm gonna go back and do essentially the same thing on the inner two wires. And that gives it a nice stacked look that's a little bit thicker um, than it might be otherwise so if you missed it I'm just looping this so I've got the I'm holding the ends of my cut piece of bandana and I'm like I can go under those two wires and then I just pull those ends through that loop like that and it's just an easy way to knot it and it lays really nicely on the wreath um, just make sure that you are trying to pull it about the same way each time. 
So I did, okay, so my wreath, or each bandana, I made 10 strips. So I grouped, I did those in groups of five. Because it cut 10 strips, I did five underneath and five on top. And then I alternate the red and white. So I did, this is 10 white, this is 10 red, and you'll keep going all the way around until you get a wreath like this. Okay, I mentioned my wreath when we started has four sections, right? You can see that? One, two, three, four. So three of the sections are the red and white stripes, because that's the main part of the flag. And then that last section, just one of these, I did with just blue. And then the last step I did was to take, I just had some metal stars, and I already had these, so I spray painted them white, and then I just glued them onto my wreath. And they hang a lot better right now, they're trying to flop over. They're, they're much happier on the door than they're trying to fall off right now. But Okay, so each bandana is, each one of these sections is a bandana. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three blue ones, 10, 11, 12. 12 bandanas, your wire frame, and you got a wreath. So put that on your front door. And that's our first bandana project for today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make him sit up back here, but he can kind of hide back there. All right, so now your guests are in the door and maybe they're gonna eat, you're gonna feed them something. So this is a really fun way to give your guests everything that they need for their meal all in one. So I've got, I've got all my kind of supplies hanging out over here. So if you're gonna eat, here's a fun way to serve your guests everything that they need for their meal. And let's do this in some different colors. So your bandana turns into their napkin. And I'm just gonna fold it up a little bit. Then they need like a spoon, and I'm using plastic silverware because maybe you're entertaining outdoors and that's easier. A spoon, a fork, a knife, and maybe even a straw. And we're just gonna kind of fold this up and push this down into a mason jar. And I'm gonna use my knife get that pushed in there. So my bandana is now my napkin. All my silverware goes into it, including my straw. Then your guest has everything they need. You could, even, you could have that sitting at the table or they could pick it up. Then they're gonna pull out their silverware and their straw and their napkin and they can use the mason jar as their drinking glass. And it's just a really fun way to set the table, to have it look pretty, and to have everything handy for your guests so they don't have to go searching for it. And you could do it, you know, have all the different colors, have the red, white, and blue together, and just make that simpler. Even if you're doing a buffet, maybe have these all at the end, and they can grab their cup with all their utensils and go sit down. So there you go. Your guests are all ready for their meal. Now, once they go sit down at the table, they're gonna need a centerpiece, right, for the table? Okay, so you might have seen in the fall, sometimes people do these fabric pumpkins. Okay, it's summer, it's 4th of July, it's patriotic holidays. So we're gonna do kind of a fabric bandana, or fabric bandana, a fabric apple using a red bandana, and this is also no sew, so I need a red bandana, and I'm gonna use some rubber bands, and then I've got um, just some polyfiber fill stuffing. All right, a bandana is, or a bandana, an apple is round, so to help that round shape take to get started, Pinch the center of the bandana about an inch or so and tie it off with one of your rubber bands. If you're just tuning in, we are doing a whole bunch of 
bandana crafts to get ready for the holiday in the U.S. next week and just for some summer red, white, and blue crafting. Um, if you like to craft with um, clothing items, if you've ever done that, make sure to leave a comment and let us know what you've crafted for your chance for a giveaway um, to win a Home Talk tote bag today. I mentioned I've used um, old t-shirts and I crocheted with them or I turned them into uh, macrame plant holders. Okay, so once I pull that center up, I'm just pushing some of this poly fiber fill stuffing in the center. And then I'm gathering the corners of my, what's going to be an apple. And you can kind of see that round shape down there. And you could add in, you know, as much of this, cause it compacts down as you want. So let's make a bigger apple. So grab all the corners, pull them up. And other than, so for our apple, we're using a bandana and some rubber bands in this fiber fill stuffing. Okay, so once I've got, you can see that where we started that center, that's how that looks on the bottom. And it just helps us get that round shape started. So I filled it up. And now I'm going to use some more rubber bands to pull this together. And I'm using a couple. These are really thin ones, so I'm using a couple at a time so that hopefully I don't break them. And then I might kind of just peek down in here and make sure all of that stuffing, I'm going to use my finger, is stuffed down in there. And then because it's rubber bands, I can kind of pull and tighten and everything else. Okay, so that's a nice little apple shape there. Then we need to think about our stem and how tall we want that to be. So that's going to be a couple inches. And I'm going to use more rubber bands to kind of mark where the top of my stem is going to be. So wrapping those around again. So we've got our apple, the bottom of our stem, the top of our stem. This stem's all going to be covered in a second. Then one of these corners, one of the long ones, I'm going to kind of pull out and it's going to be uh, my leaf eventually. And the rest of this is going to get cut off. So I've just got a pair of scissors. These aren't the sharpest scissors, but they can chop through that bandana. All right, so the corner that's left gets folded over the cut part, and then one more rubber band to hold it down so that it can kind of become our little leaf over there. Now, we want to make that stem a little bit prettier so I've got some twine. This is some fairly thin twine. You could certainly use thicker twine if you have that, um, whatever you've got. And then we're just going to wrap around our stem. So go around and around and around and cover the entire stem, trying to obviously leave out you know, going above and below where our leaf is. And once that's all wrapped up, you're gonna get a little bandana apple. So we've got our centerpiece all done. Now our guests would probably like maybe somewhere comfy to sit. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't, I like throw pillows, but I don't go out and buy new ones all the time for every occasion. So I'm going to show you how to dress up some pillows that you already have um, to make them more uh, ready for summer and entertaining. So I've got just a normal um, square pillow and it is, the only requirement is that it needs to be smaller than your bandana. That's it. So because this has got some kind of bright colors, I'm gonna grab a couple of these red bandanas. 
um, just so it doesn't, so you can't see through it. So we're gonna make like a pillow sandwich. So I've got bandana number one, and I'm gonna put it the right side facing down. Then I'm gonna add my pillow. And finally, I'm going to add my other bandana. Now, you can do this a couple different ways. This, I think, is the easiest. You're gonna need four rubber bands, and you're going to just pinch off the corner and attach a rubber band. And I like to do diagonals. So I would do this one, and then I'm gonna go across and do the corner that was opposite. Um, just so I am, can make him make this as even as possible. So I did those two corners and then I can turn and do these other two corners. And once all my rubber bands are on, then I can go back and make sure that they're all fairly even, um, that one, that no corner is longer than any other corner. So that's corner number three. This is corner number four. Except my rubber band's being weird. So here we go, corner number four. One. And then, as I said, so once you get all these on here, um, then you can go back and just kind of evenly tighten them down. So I'm gonna roll each corner down um, just to tighten it up. I didn't want to start too, you know, to start too much and then realize that I didn't leave enough space on another side. Whoa, pulling too hard. Okay, so that covers our pillow. So fast, so easy, no sewing. You can just toss on some bandanas over your pillows. If you wanna dress it up a little bit, you can take that same twine that you used on your apples um, and wrap it around if you don't want the rubber band showing. Um, even if the twine doesn't fully cover it, because it's the same color as the twine, um, people are gonna kinda think that it's the same, but you could just tie a little bow and then it looks, you know, a little more intentional on that corner. So here's the red one. Here's a blue one I did earlier. And that's just a really fun way um, to take, you know, I mean, you can get bandanas for a dollar a piece. And then you can just cover up the pillows you already have. Um, and you're not having to invest in brand new pillows to entertain, but you still get that look of your pillows and you know, our centerpieces and the mason jars and everything really just goes together to give that cohesive look um, for our summer decorating, our summer party planning. Every good party needs a fun photo background. So this is kind of the major sewing project. Um, and we're not gonna really sew today, but I just wanna show you this bandana thing that's hanging behind me. Um, it makes it, I am not a seamstress. Um, but I can sew straight lines and bandanas are super handy because they're square, at least mostly. I can't promise you. Um, I did notice that while stacking mine, even though all theoretically they're all supposed to be the same size, um, sometimes some are a little bit off. But it's really easy to block out um, the squares. So. I can make a fun little, I made a fun little pattern. So I've got like red, white, and blue, red, white, and you could continue that kind of on the diagonal. Just sew them together. And this can either be a tablecloth or it can be kind of like what I'm doing today and standing in front of it. And you can have a fun photo backdrop um, for your party and guests can hang out in front of it. You know, they can pose with their drinks. Um, they can hang out with their apples. Um, you can just have a lot of fun in front of your photo background that's really easy to stitch together. And I promise I am not a seamstress, so when I say it's easy to stitch together, it really was. I actually did most of this by hand. Um, I just 
you can see my crazy stitches. I just kind of whip stitched that together really fast because I knew it was going to be for the background and I wasn't going to have to wash or, or do anything like that. So it didn't, if it doesn't hold up in the wash, I'm not that concerned about it. So a really fun way um, to stitch your bandanas together and make a fun photo background. Make sure to go check out my website. It's Julie Measures. Um, we'll run through these one more time. We have a wreath. Ta-da. Get your guests in the mood when they walk in the front door. You've got table settings, pillows, and your photo background. So lots of fun ways to use bandanas. Um, go grab, um, you can't see my pile over here, but I literally have like three dozen more bandanas because I have so many ideas of things I want to make with them, including expanding this and making it a lot bigger. Um, so thanks so much for hanging out today, for crafting with me. Um, I hope that this has inspired you and showed you how you can craft with bandanas and how it can be really quick and simple. Um, so I hope that inspired you today. If you have any questions, head over to my Facebook page and let me know. I'm happy to answer those. And I'll be back to hang out with you guys again soon. Bye. Have a great day.